Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can adjust your altitude units on your Garmin Instinct 2X Solar Watch. You've basically got two options on here, feet or meters. This is going to be a global setting, so wherever you change this, wherever you're using your altitude value, this unit display is going to change it. If you look at my watch face, I'm showing the altitude on the watch face. It's showing 72 up here. Now the thing that's kind of weird is you really don't know what that is because there's no indication of whether that's feet or meters. You'll see that though when we go into our settings. If you've got it on your watch face, you're going to see it there. If you're doing an activity that's using altitude, you will see your altitude values there. You could also see it in your glances. As with most things on this watch, there's several different ways you can go about changing this. I'm going to show you a couple different ways on the watch. You could also use the Garmin Connect app on your cell phone. Simply change your units there and then sync the change over to your watch. So if we want to change this, mine's currently in meters. What if I want to change it to feet? How would we do it? The easiest way is assuming you have the altimeter glance, you could go into your glance list. I'm going to simply press the up button because my altimeter glance is at the bottom. This is what your altimeter glance looks like. While you're on the glance, if you press and hold the menu button, that will take you to your altimeter options. Once you're in your options or your altimeter uh, menu, you can simply press the GPS for altimeter options. When you're in the altimeter options, if you press the up button, you could also use the down button, but the value you need to get to is at the very bottom of the list, so I tend to use up. You're looking for elevation, and you can see mine is set to meters. If I press the GPS button, You've got two options in here, feet or meters. Set it to whatever you want by pressing GPS on the given value and you've successfully adjusted your altitude value. So if I go back now, instead of it showing in meters, I'm now showing 238. Before it was showing 72, now it's showing 238 because we're using feet instead. So that's one of the ways you could change your uh, altitude units. The other way is maybe you don't have the altimeter glance installed in your glance list you could go into your system units and change it. I'm going to be showing you that here. From the main watch face, if you press and hold the menu button, the middle button on the left-hand side, that will take you to your main menu for the watch. Once you're in the menu, you could again use the up or down button. Again, I recommend pressing up because the value you need to get to is system, which is at the very bottom of the list. Once you're on system, press GPS. And then again, we're going to use the up or down button. We're going to go all the way down until we see format. Under format, we're going to press the GPS button. The very first option you're going to see is units, where this is different than before when we went through the glances. This is going to be where you can configure every unit that's being displayed on the watch, not just your altitude units. So I can change my distance units, I can change my pace speed units, my elevation. This is the one we're looking for. Weight, height, temperature, pressure, so on and so forth. For this video, we're looking for elevation units. Again, I could press GPS on elevation and I could change my units there, feet or meters. I'm going to leave mine in feet, so I'm going to simply press the GPS button. I could press the back button several times, or you could always press and hold the menu button. That will take you back to your main watch face from your main menu. Pretty simple stuff. Again, you could do it on the Garmin Connect app if you're not wanting to press all the buttons on the watch, but that's how you change your altitude units on the Instinct 2X Solar. I hope the video helps.